Giant walleye. We went to get some birds. We gotta take some chats. I got Doyle behind the camera. He's gonna be shooting this for me. Get him, Maggie! What's going on folks? TCG back at it again with another video. Today we got a first thought video. We're looking at the Ameristep doghouse hunting blind. You know we got this one because during hunting season, we always in the doghouse. Brought to you by Ameristep. So if you haven't seen our other videos, we did a review on the Ameristep 10 chair blind. We really like that blind, so we thought we'd pick up another blind from Ameristep and give it a shot. So we got the doghouse here and we're gonna give you our thoughts on it. So by looking at the box, it's got some uh, facts about it here. So it's a uh, two person hunting capacity. It's a uh, very compact, portable concealment. It has uh, shoot through holes, but it also has mesh porthole covers that go over so they're not fully exposed. And it's 60 inches square by 66 inches tall. So on the back of the box, it says it has a backpack carrying case, which is pretty freaking sweet. I've never had a blind or an ice hut that can go on your back. It also comes with stakes and high wind tie downs. Uh, it has Durastel plus fabric shell with matte finish. Not sure what that is, probably for water resistance and stuff. It has shadow guard coating, eliminates shadows and silhouettes, which is pretty interesting. I've never heard of that till now, so that's pretty cool. And it's got patented three edge relief trim, breaks up hard edges for a fully brushed in look. So I'm looking at these images on the back of this thing and normally a hut, you pop it up on all five sides to get it up, but this one, comes as like a circle and you just flip it open and the thing pops up and it's there, ready to go. So this blind looks very interesting. I'm looking forward to taking it outside and setting it up and seeing what it's like outside. So let's get to it. All right, so turkey season is just around the corner. So we thought we'd go to one of our turkey spots and set this thing up and see how it does. So I'm gonna pop it out of the box. Uh, see what we're working with inside this thing. We've got four tabs on her. I'm just gonna freaking tear her open because I'm a savage. Would you freaking look at that? Buddy? This thing is wild. Let's throw her on the back. Look at that. You can wear that to school, Ryan. Yes, that's a stakes. Freaking. Careful, you might lose that. It's the old camo. So let's get this box out of here. But look at that, eh? Put it back. Nice. Can't get any more compact than that. They weren't lying on the box. Nope. Let's pop this thing open. See how easy it is to set up. The biggest thing is going to be trying to close it down, I bet. Okay, so. By the looks of it. <laughs> oh, Nelly! That thing! What the frick? Look at this. Look at it. <laughs> oh, dude, it's already up. It's already up. Crack a window here. What are we, what are we working with in here? This is a door? This is a door? <laughs> Uh, you got uh, we got the door here, big old door. There's actually four doors. No, there is not. I lied. There's only one door. Then we got big old window, which I probably won't use. But these are the peepholes. So you got this. You got this to shoot out of here. And then they got. Uh, I think you flip her down like that maybe, or you kind of just do this, and then pop her up like this. Got the mesh there. Keep her a little camouflaged, and you're ready to bust a turkey, you just, <laughs> bust them. And it's got three of these holes to shoot out of, not four, it's only got three. So you got one here, one here, one here. Is this thing's, door? Uh, no, no, door you don't shoot out of. So wherever you're gonna shoot from, Put this to the back of the direction you're gonna shoot. But uh, first thought, I mean, it's it's looking pretty cozy. It's a little tight, but uh, for two people, I think it'd be pretty good. Uh, yeah, let's see how this thing closes up. That's what I'm curious about, because things like this usually are kind of hard to close up. So let's close it up and uh, see how it is. Should we stake it? Nah. All that stuff? Nah. 
Okay. I got no clue how to do this. Okay, so she pulls up like that. And you just got like this pizza thing. And I think you just gotta you just kinda maybe do this. And then just kinda. These things are always hard to figure out to close them properly. Let's, let's try this again here. You gotta I do these I do these things all the time in my job, so <laughs> I think you gotta kind of just I don't know, man. It's a little difficult. It might be a two-person job. Hand that off to Amelia. Because what you do with these is you have to twist them reverse. So one side goes one way, other side goes the other way. So oh. take, <laughs> take a corner, take an end, <laughs> take a side, and then you're gonna twist to your left, I'm gonna twist to my right. Keep going. Oh, that does it. That does it. That does but don't it. let go. Let's see how easy it is to get back in the bag. This is another thing. A lot of companies don't make oversized bags. Let's see how it fits. You know what? Right on the box it says two man. Okay, put her, push her in. That's an oversized bag. Look at that. Okay. So. With two people, we're on the go. It's gonna, it's gonna be a little tricky to close it up by yourself. But if you got your partner here, it's a two-person hunting blind, you got your partner here, it's easy to close it up with two people. Get it right back in the bag. It took me, it took us what, like 30 seconds to take <laughs> yeah. it down, it took me 10 seconds to put it up, and then you're on your way, you're taking home a bird, you're taking home a deer, you're taking home whatever you want. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. If you got any questions or concerns, leave a comment below because we love hearing from you guys. And if you ain't subscribed to the channel, make sure to subscribe because we're dropping videos every Sunday. Thank you all for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.